Hey everyone, I'm back. I almost need a PhD or some kind of a, a degree just to run these uh, tripods. And I'm not even joking about that. <laughs> so here's the hostas that I picked and they're washed. I let them drain a little bit. And this is coconut oil in here. It's a non-stick pan. I like using um, pans that are cast iron because it always makes your edibles taste so much better. Don't ask me why, it just does. But I didn't want to dig out my um, cast iron pans right at the moment. So um, all I did was rinse them off and then I'm going to throw them in here and let them fry up. I'm going to turn this down now that I have it at the temperature I want. I'll just turn it down a little bit and uh, let these babies fry. Um, you can eat them raw. Um, they are, it's like a Japanese cuisine type of thing. They've been eating them for centuries raw. They would put them in their salads and, you know, they would uh, um, boil them or steam them. There was just any type of way. So just think of it as asparagus. I mean, I've eaten asparagus raw before too, but I'd rather have it cooked. It has a better flavor, just like these guys here. Um, We'll have a better flavor. See how they pop open? See how they're popping? They'll just pop slightly. The ends will pop open. First time I ever did these, I was like, whoa, that's kind of weird. But yeah, these guys, um, I think I only cook them for about maybe five minutes. Simmer down, hostas. Simmer down. <laughs> um, yeah, don't play with your food, right? So I don't want them on too high, uh, you can always just keep turning them down a little bit. You can, if you want more of a kind of steam, we do this with the wild edibles too. We put a little bit of water in there to give it a little bit of a steam. Oh, I don't know if I said I use coconut oil. You can use butter. You can put a little salt and pepper on them if you want. I'm not going to be too fancy. I'm just doing this as a demonstration for you guys and um, showing you that you can Keep your hostas. Next we'll do the leaves. When we get a little bit bigger I'll do another video. I'm going to try to do more videos on wild edibles. Um, staple foods, you know, things that you think are weeds are really life-saving food that we think are poisonous, which are not. Um, although these are to animals but not to humans. So you won't put these up and give them to your dog or your cat. Probably look at you like you're weird anyways. <laughs> they do smell really good. I'm trying to think. They do smell like asparagus when they are cooking. I like them soft. You can take them out like this um, and cool them off and put them in your salads. Um, I'm trying to think of, I mean, there's so many ways you can eat these. They look really good. They're nice and green. So the purple hostas, I noticed uh, the purple colors fade away. Same thing with when you're cooking purple beans. Um, like once you start cooking purple beans, the same thing happens. Like where'd the purple go? You know, kind of crazy. So these are almost done. If you want a little more steam, like I said, you could just put a little bit of water in there. Is it really nice to see? Not too much because you don't want to splatter much of the oil onto you. Yeah, do a Google search on these guys. Um, I'm probably not telling you everything that they're for, but to me, I'm just really more concerned about telling you, you know, um, that it's a, it's a staple food. It's something that you literally can eat. You know, I think I remember seeing that someone somewhere had um, pickled these. Uh, yeah, actually I did. You could pickle these like you would uh, dilly beans. Just make your brine and cook them. Make sure they're really tight. Even if they do open up like this, you know, you still get a really nice pickled pasta that you can you know, bring to a party and conversational piece with your friends. It is, you're like, that's pretty cool. Um, I like to pickle everything. I do a lot of pickles in the summer. I'll be eating these for the next week. Cause 
heavy day they'll start once it rains out the flower the leaves will start popping right up they'll flower right out so these look really these look good they're soft um i like them really soft they uh, have that nice flavor when they're soft like that and that's it i hope you enjoy this little video of these uh pastas five minutes long. I don't want to make it too crazy long because it's hard to upload uh, longer videos now. But you get the picture. You could put onions in with this, garlic in with this, you just be creative. Tomatoes, spaghetti sauce, whatever you want to do. Um, there's your greens. High in minerals. Eat your hostas, baby. <laughs> Alright everyone, enjoy it. Peace.